Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today I'm going to show you how you can use OpenDNS to filter your home internet connection. So I've already set up the OpenDNS account and I've created a network. And now I am in the settings tab here inside the OpenDNS dashboard. And I'm going to go through these five menu items here on the left. So first we've got web content filtering. So you can choose your filtering level. Uh, I just created this network, so by default, I've got nothing blocked. Uh, there are three predefined levels, high, moderate, and low. And you can see the number of categories that are blocked in each of these, as well as a very brief description. If you want to see more details, you can click View, and then you can scroll through the list that gives a, a description for each of the categories that are blocked there. You can also uh, create a custom level. And if you expand that, um, then you see the full list here. You can hover over each of these and you'll get a short description of what these are. Uh, there is also an OpenDNS support page, which I will link to from the blog post. And that has even more details about uh, what each of these categories are. So you can just start with a blank slate here and just start uh, checking the boxes for the ones that you want to block. Um, or if you want to, you can start with one of the uh, predefined levels. So let's say I want to start with high. I can just say customize. There we go. And then that switches me over to custom and pulls in all the settings from the high level. And I could then customize this uh, as I would like. So if I want to say classified, they're allowed, I can uncheck that. Um, and then when I'm finished, I can apply those settings. You can also manage individual domains. So uh, if you find that there are certain websites that are being blocked when you don't want them to be blocked, um, or some that are being allowed when you don't want them to be allowed, uh, and you're just not able to, to quite get it right um, here, but you just want to um, whitelist or blacklist certain websites, you can choose to always block or never block um, certain domains. And so you can just type them right in here um, and then hit add domain and those will be added to your list. So then I'm going to click on security up here in the top left and we've got uh, three options here. So there's uh, by default uh, filtering of malware and botnets. Um, so definitely recommend keeping that on. There's also phishing protection, recommend keeping that on. And then suspicious responses, this is off by default, but uh, I recommend enabling this. I've never had any trouble um, with that being enabled. Um, so you can set your settings and then click apply. There are some other options for customization here, um, basically just what the, what the pages look like. And if you want, you can put a logo and things like that. Um, so set that if you want to, but it's not necessary. Then you've got stats and logs. So if you want OpenDNS to uh, keep track of the domains that are visited from your home network, you can enable that option. Uh, and that gives you some um, charts uh, and stats that will be collected going forward. And you can go and review that. So if you want to kind of keep an eye on your network, see um, what family members are visiting, things like that, you can turn that on. Um, and you can always turn it off in the future and that will stop collecting going forward. And then if you want to wipe out any of the data going back into history, uh, there's an option here to purge your data. Then there's some advanced settings. Uh, these are on by default. Um, so recommend um, keeping the smart cache on. That's a, a good feature. And then dynamic IP. So this would be, um, this is on because I selected this when I created the network. Um, so basically, if you, you know, most home internet connections are using something like uh, cable or DSL. Um, and if you're using um, one of those types of internet connections, then your company, uh, Comcast or Spectrum or AT&T, um, is basically just leasing you a, um, uh, an IP address. And if you have a power outage or turn your modem off, uh, the next time you turn it back on, you may be given a different address. And um, OpenDNS needs to be aware of that. Um, otherwise, your settings will not apply because your address will change and, and they won't know that you are who uh, goes with this network. So you turn that on um, and that gives you an option to 
um, read more, and then you can install some software on the computer on your network that's going to be most frequently connected to your home internet connection. Uh, and that will just kind of keep them uh, informed of your um, IP address and so that your filtering can continue to apply. All right, so that is how to configure OpenDNS um, once you have it set up. So there'll be a lot more details about configuring your router and, uh, and other ways of using OpenDNS um, in the blog post that goes with this video. Uh, but just wanted to give you a visual on how this works actually configuring your OpenDNS account. To learn more, visit DefendingDigital.com.